Number one, suppose I give you one three dibutene. Now in this case we have two pi bonds. Nothing to worry about. What you did for one pi bond, you will do the same for the next pi bond. If you have two pi bond, you will break the pi bond in the same manner as you did for one pi bond, and uh, you will do the cleavage on both the pi bonds exactly in the manner you did when you had only one pi bond. So you will do the cleavage here from the right hand side. This carbon is going to participate in C double bond O. So from this part. You will get a aldehyde of one carbon like this. Again, from this left extreme, you are going to get a C double bond O on this carbon. So you again you are going to get a methanol from left extreme. Now this carbon will also form C double bond O because previously it is engaged in forming double bond with carbon, and this carbon is also going to form a C double bond O. So from here you are going to get a compound of two carbon. And both these carbons will be forming C double bond O. So what you're going to get would look something like this. You're going to get one two ethane diol. Fine. So when you have multiple pi bonds, you do the ozonolysis on all the pi bonds. It happens one by one, but for writing the product, you can break them simultaneously, and these will be the three products that you will get out of one. Three dibutene. Okay. Okay. So from here, try on doing all of them on your own. Suppose I have a ring. It doesn't matter. You will do the procedure, follow the procedure exactly the same as you did in the case of a cyclic compound, and you will break the pi bond in the same manner as I have told you. It doesn't matter whether it's a a cyclic chain or it's a cyclic ring, whatever. So uh, try getting the products for the these substrates on your own. And anyway, I'm going to tell you the answer, and then you can match accordingly. So these are the three. And solve them quickly before you listen any further. Now, as you are listening any further, so I am assuming that you have done it and you are honest. So let me tell you, or you tell me what will be the product. And I'll. So the the pr pr procedure would be the same. You break it from here. You break it from here. From the left left extreme, you are going to get acetone. You are going to get double bond on this carbon. From the right extreme, you are going to get ethanol. Double bond on this carbon. There are two carbon in this, so this is going to provide you ethanol. And the section in middle is again going to give you one two ethane diol. Two carbons and double bond with oxygen with both the carbons, as both the carbons are forming double bond with carbon in the substrate. Easy enough. So you will get acetone plus ethanol plus one two ethane diol CHO CHO. Fine. Now let's break this. If you break this, then this carbon will form C double bond O, and this carbon. Will also form C double bond O. So if we write it properly, you will have one three propendiol. This is what you will have. If you open up the ring, there is a three member a cyclic chain and C double bond O on the extreme of that chain at one position and three position. This is one three ethene. Propane diol. Fine. So when you do ozonolysis, the chain would convert into a acyclic open chain. Fine. If you do it here, again it will break into a six-member straight chain, because if this this bond is broken, and when you break this, it, the ring would be broken and will convert to a open chain. So, and this position and this position. When you cut it like this, it will go to extreme ends. So at one position and at sixth position, there will be C double bond O. 
So let me draw that seed valve bondo. This is the fun first position. And there will be four carbon, one, two, three, four in between. And again, you will have C double bond O on the sixth carbon. So this will be one six hexane diol. This is how, this is what you will have. Fine? Okay. Similarly, if we have two pi bonds in the ring, then you will have to break all the pi bonds as you did in case of open chain, as you did in the case of closed chain when you had one pi bond. Wherever you have pi bond, just break that into two half, giving each of the carbon participating in the pi bond C double bond O. That's it. So you break this, you break this. So you're going to get C double bond O on this carbon like this you're going to get c double bond o on this carbon like this so the upper half is having three carbon and the extreme end of those will have c double bond o like this so this is one of the product coming coming from the upper half similarly from the lower half this carbon and this carbon will form c double bond o because it is making c double bond c this carbon will also make c double bond o because it's making c double bond c so from the lower half you will get similar compound 1 3 propane diol so this these will be these these will be the two products you will get out of this 1 3 cyclodihexene or 1 3 cyclohexdiene fine now i could have got the same product if i would have taken 1 3 uh, pro, cyclopropene if you if if you remember the last time we did the product of cyclopropene you will break this pi bond like this and again you're going to get the same product. 1,3-propane diol. So this is going to give us one molecule of 1,3-propane diol and this is going to give us two molecules of 1,3-propane diol. But the product would be nevertheless same. This is important because we're going to revert back to this point later in this reaction.